guess who I, I guess who I have? Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> she's back. For how long we don't know, but she's back. <laughs> yes. And today we have Timo stuff. I have two, but it's really one order. They just put it in this one in here. So we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the big one. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. Sorry. Okay, right, my first thing is they have it in this little bag here. It's perfume, so they separated it from the other stuff. So I wanted some more perfume. I couldn't find the one that I really liked from um, from Timu. That little one that I had, I, I yeah. used it all up. I loved that perfume. It yeah. was so nice oh, and I airy. Like and I, they discontinued it. Why? I don't know. Because it was really, really nice perfume. So I tried to find something that was close to it maybe. I don't know. When you can't smell, yeah, <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. So I like light and airy stuff. I don't like strong perfume. So... Hopefully this isn't going to be strong. If it is, you're getting it. <laughs> so this is what it comes in in the box, like that. Let me see. I paid eleven forty nine for this. It is a bigger bottle than than the other one that I had. I can't. I think it was Daisy that I had. Yeah. It, it was so nice though. I wore it almost every day. I love the smell of it. I, and I, it lasted a good amount of time. So some of them they don't last very long. You know. So. Well, you have to keep putting it back on again for it to last. Yeah, right? That's... So we're going to open this up. What's this one called? Huh? This is, um, it's called May Sabra Blossom for Love. Mm. <laughs> mm. So... This is the bottle it comes in. Nice little bottle. Nice size. Yep. Mm -hmm. I hope I like this. Look. Oh, it's like an oil. More of an oil. You want to try it? Put it on oh, your Oh, I like the smell. Put it on your arm. I'll let her put it on so she can, you can see her a little bit. Here. Open your arm. She you can't see. Now let's put them together. It's like an oil. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice smell. Mmm. Refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Like very that. nice. I like that. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I'll put my arm up here so you can smell it. I'll take it any time. No, I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> I get offered things, but never comes to fruition. No, I'm sorry. Okay, let's look at the camera. <laughs> Not outside. Oh, what is this? I didn't buy this. Uh oh. What is it? I have no idea. Okay. Interesting. It's one of those bags. Those bow bags that the women are getting all the time. And the big ones. Big huge ones. Uh -huh. This is a small one of that. Well, I didn't order this. Well, maybe it was a gift. I did not order this. It's not even on my list. Eh. Wow. Maybe they just threw it in because you're such a good person. I don't, and I wouldn't get this color. No. Oh, I like that color. That's not me. This color is not my color. Oh, I like that. So, I don't know how much it is. Ah, isn't that cool? And it comes with a strap. So... And then you just turn these and see. That's those, they call those bow bags, I think it is. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. It is cute. It is cute. And then it comes with a strap. Like, knowing you, you wouldn't be able to get much in there, though, with the amount of stuff you carry. Well, it's like if you're going to the beach or something, you could put, like, your suntan oil and stuff like that because it's waterproof. Yeah. You can take it to the beach. Oh, I see. Yeah. See the yeah. holes? Yeah. That's why. Interesting. Well, thank you, Timu. Didn't know I was getting a gift. Or you didn't put it, you put it in accidentally, one or the other, because I didn't buy it. 
Because if it did, it would have been pink or white, something like that. It would not have been this color. I'm not. I'm not into green. Really, it's not green. It's, it's a bluish blue. green. It's a bluish green. I'm just not into that kind of color. But you know, if we went to the beach, it would be look cute. You could take it with you, and you know, you don't have to worry about sand getting in your purse and stuff. That's cute. Take I your suntan lotion and your... Yeah, I could put my brush or something because my hair gets wet and you got to brush your hair or something, a hair ties, whatever. Your eyeglasses. Yeah, this is cute. I got it. We I'll can, Believe me, we'll get it settled up one way or another. Well, we'll just have to go to the beach more. That would be an idea. Yeah, say we have an excuse now. Thank yeah. you, Timu. Really appreciate it. Don't know how much it is, guys, because I didn't order it. I really didn't. <laughs> What do you think, Ma? It's cute. Yeah, yeah, you look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got seed on it. Yeah. Yeah, you could pl put plenty in you there. You could put your car keys in there when you're at the beach and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it is. It's too small for a towel. No, you know, you can put your But you put in. your suntan lotion and your sunglasses. Eye glasses and yeah, sunglasses and maybe a hat. Yeah, maybe a little hat. Yeah. You know, if you could squish it in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't have that. I did not buy that at all, guys. Nope. So well, we, we is, it, is it Timu who gave it as a gift or is it an accident? I don't know. <laughs> but thank you, Timu. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, on to the next one, guys. Oh, well, I didn't get these either. <laughs> Maybe this is not my order. Oh, it's not. Oh, no. I have somebody else's order. <laughs> oh, no. Who is it? I didn't order this. I'll have to, we'll have to do another video, guys, because this is not my order at all. Oh, no. I wonder if they gave her mine. Oh no, I've opened it up, I feel bad. Oh well, so, wonder where mine is. Hmm, it is here on this lane, on Tangela Lane, it's 5504, Nikki Sauver. So let me go and drive down the road and see if I can find her. And if I can get mine, then we'll, we'll be back. Oh my God. I was like, oh, maybe Timu's giving me all this nice stuff. <laughs> no. It has somebody else's name on here. So I uh, will, and she's on, on my, lo my, my road. So yes. we'll go find it. We're going to talk about our little adventure today. <laughs> yeah. What, what a mess. So anyways, as you know, that the parcel I got was not mine. It was somebody else's down the road. She's down this way somewhere so I went to knocking on the door and of course nobody answered and so I thought I'd wait a few minutes and see if I could get a hold of the post office at the same time so um, I was on the phone with the post office and it just rings and rings and rings and they don't pick up and it just dies so uh, I was getting ready to come home and just leave the parcel but I looked at the other one because she had one at her door and what had happened that one I thought maybe it was mine but it wasn't it was somebody else's on a different street so <coughs> she showed up as I was getting ready to leave so I gave her a parcel, told her what happened, and I said, well, the one you have here isn't yours either, unless <laughs> you have somebody else's name. It's a totally name and address is totally different. So she looked at it, and she says, well, I can't believe they did this. And she really is a good good poster. You know, she she's good at her job. She usually never makes a mistake. It's usually the ones that cover for her that make a mistake. So, oh my God, was it, it was a mess. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so she, ha she said she works for the post office. 
So, but she doesn't work for ours here. She works in another another um, town. Town, yeah. That's next door to ours. So she had just come home and she said that she couldn't believe that she did this either. So we went and hopped in her car and we went and took the other parcel to the other person. And the lady was home. She was an older lady. We wanted to see if maybe my parcel ended up there. So nope, that lady didn't get no parcel until we brought her her parcel. So she got hers. So I didn't get mine. So... I kept calling the post office, and I had some errands to do, so Mom came with me, so we decided to go do all these errands, and so I went to the post office, and of course, they gave me the postmaster. It took him forever to come out, and so he says, well, what's your address, and I told him, and he went, and he's trying to find out. He comes back and says, well, it doesn't look like you're supposed to even get a parcel today. I said, really? I said, it says, on my phone, it said, thank goodness for Timo and their tracking because it would have been even more of a mess. So I gave them the tracking number and I said it was out for delivery for today. So he says, okay, let me go and find her. So I know what he did. He went and called my carrier. That's what he did. And she said she had my parcel on the truck still. And it's almost 5 o'clock, people. So was she even going to try to drop it off today? Or was she going to wait and drop it off tomorrow? You know, that was my thing. So, um, anyways, she dropped it off before I even got to the house. So I do have my parcel. So we're going to do this now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But we're going to do it. I already opened it up. This is the, this is mine. This is the one I got. So we're going to open Sounds this up. Sounds like clanging glass. Yeah, something clanging in here. So we're going to do this. I'm going to kind of bring you down a little bit so we can put it on our laps and stuff. And you guys can see what we got. Um, hopefully you guys can see. Yep, you can see. Okay. So here we go. We'll do the first thing first, and hopefully this is all mine. Good God. Yeah. That's all we need is that. I like that little pocket purse, though. I was like, oh, I was kind of disappointed when I found it really wasn't mine at all. <laughs> so Timo didn't give me anything free. So anyways, I got me a shirt. I've been trying to get some shirts. And this was 9 39 has little buttons on it. It's a brown shirt to go with my shorts and stuff like Reminds that. Reminds me of that dress you had. Yeah, I still have that dress. Yeah, but it's wearing. I, pretty soon not going to be able to wear it. And it has your buttons. It feels like cotton. feels nice. Yeah. And how do you think? I like it. It's cute. Uh, well, really cute. Same as that other dress you got. So I like that dress. So, of course, I like the top. Uh, it looks nice with a pair of white shorts. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. I, I really what... like that. And it, it has buttons all the way through. It has a little bit of um, uh, slip, slip to it, but it's not bad. Mm -mm. No, no, it does have cottony feel too. No, it's really nice. But it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So how do they make it feel like cotton? I don't know. That's their secret. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they make it feel like cotton. If they put in any kind of cotton in it, they sure are not labeling of that. And I got a three extra large, with the, which is an 18. So I got that. So I think that'll look nice with jeans and shorts or whatever I want. Okay, the next thing I got. Oh, okay. Now my mom has her pills to take. So we get... We have these little cups, and I usually put her pills in that, and then I give them to her at her house, in, in her room or whatever, wherever she is. So, I wanted some more of them for more, like, for sauces and stuff. Maybe we go camping and stuff, because I leave those, and sometimes I don't have enough for her pills either. So, I got some of these. These are called sauce cups, and they have lids on them. They're really tiny, though. Yours are bigger. You could use these for your pills. Oh, my my other ones are bigger than these. They're cute though. 
You get six of them? Yeah, I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I get six of them with the lids. So these are the lids. You get all different colors. So let's put on one. And we'll put one lid on here. Let's see. They're silicone lids, so you can put it on there. So I think these would might be fun for camping. If you want to take a sauce with us, mayonnaise or something like that. Yeah, it'd be there. ideal for that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. A little bit smaller than what I thought they would be, but I think they're going to be handy. Yeah. Or we can use them for your pills and I can color code them. <laughs> One or the other. So I paid $6.78. Not a deal. No, to me that's not a deal. But, you know, if you use them, then, you know, you use them and you're fine with that. So. Anyways. All right, the next thing I got, I got me a diamond painting, another diamond painting thing. And this one is a monkey, which you can't see, so let me take it out, because they put those labels in front. I thought this was cute, because my, my name is on YouTube is Monkey, so I thought, oh, let me do this. And it has a little stand. There's a, it's for diamond painting. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And then it has a little stand so you can sit it up. Once you're done, you sit it up on the stand. It is so cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I could put it behind me when we do our videos. Yeah. <laughs> cute. And then, um, of course, it gives you all your diamonds that you need for it. If they're all in here. So, and then the other side. And it gives you the little boat and your pen and your wax. So, I paid six, $6.48 for that. So, I thought that was cute. And that would be fun to do. So, we get you into doing this diamond painting. Yeah. You have to help me now because I got more than one going on now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. This is what's clanging. Never mind. This is going to be a project on its own. Yeah. What is it? It might be a Shea Bear project. Yeah. What this is, these are shells. I'm not going to take them all out because it, it'll make a mess. This is a three pack under the sink shell. I don't like the way I have my stuff underneath the sink. So I wanted to try this. Now you can use them in the bathroom too, underneath your sink in the bathroom. I will show you the picture of it. And that will be a video on its own. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can get it. Get it going here. Okay, there's a picture of it. Oh, they, they're putting these videos in there now. So that's what they look like. And right now they're $21.99 for the three of them. See? And you can, you can put them anywhere you want. Yeah. But I got them for underneath the sink, and I did get white. They come in white, and they come in black. So, um, yeah, there's $22.29 in here. Where did I pay? Did I pay that much? Um, I paid twenty one oh nine for mine, so they've gone up a little bit. So that's going to be a project, and when I get that all together, I'll show you guys, so you get an idea. But not today. All right. Now I got this. This is really for Shea Bear. So these are going. Hopefully, these work for him. These are three piece. They are storage straps you put around your extension cords. So when you make your extension cord nice and neat, like he does, he's very good at it, then you can tie this around the extension cord and you can hang it on a hook 
Oh, so you can put all your extension cords on a hook, you know, and make them nice and neat and tidy. Because he's got extension cords everywhere. So we have many extension cords. So I thought this might help. If he doesn't like it, well, then maybe he can use them for something else, but I won't buy them again. If he needs more, he might need more. There's only three in here. I paid eleven seventy seven for these. But I thought they would be a good thing for him to do with his extension cords. So we'll have to let him know and let him see. And they only come in black, I think. So that's good. I'm always looking for things to make my life easier. All right, these here are shelves that I got. I got these for the bathroom. Now, you might have seen these before. I've seen them on people's Timu's hauls, and I like them. They seem to be sturdy. I paid $9.28 for these. I want them to go in my corner because I'm tired of my shampoo and stuff being on my windowsill. So they give you these little hooky things. Hopefully they work pretty good. And you put them on your tile in the corner of your where your shower is. And you can put your shelves up. They got these are good size. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, they're nice. So you'll be able to put quite a bit on these. So I think it might work. I don't know. I'll have to get Shaver to help me put them up. I think you have to leave them up for like 24 hours before you, you can load it. Yeah, before you can put anything on it. So, yeah. Might need to get some more of these. I got some other ones that are bigger than that, but um, we'll see how sturdy these are, how well it works. So, you get two of those. And here's, they give you a little pamphlet on show how, showing you how to do it. There's the pamphlet to show you how it's done. There you go. So, all right. Okay. Let's put that over there. Okay, what do I got next? Let me see in this little cubby hole here. So I got a mat. It goes underneath the sink. This is waterproof. It keeps the water from ruining your cabinet underneath your sink. Now if I like this, I might get one for underneath my bathroom sink. I could get probably a smaller one. I wanted to see how well this would work. I do have I have a liner there, but it's not going to protect it if it gets wet. Yeah. So I thought this might be better. So that uh, was the biggest one I think they had. Is this underneath the kitchen sink? Yes. It's waterproof silicone. Yeah. And it goes as ten seventy nine, and you get only one. And it has the slip side. Yeah. To it. Mm -hmm. So it, it won't slide. No. Nope. That's good. Yeah which I liked. There, I'll show you guys there. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the picture. Um, is there different sizes? I don't know, it's just like you can protect her for kitchen and bathroom cabinets um, and kitchen accessories. So, you know, if you wanted to, you, you might be able to um, <coughs> use it for, you could probably cut this and use this liner. In your cabinets. I wonder if it would stay good. I don't know. You know, cause it should. Because I have those other liners, but they don't stay very well. I have, and I don't want to put the paper stuff down. I don't like the paper either. So looks like it kind of got ruined there a little bit. But it's going to come out underneath the sink. It'll be all right. It's fine. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. So hopefully we'll see how well that works. I'll see if that helps because we sometimes we had a leak underneath there a couple of times and we didn't know it and it was just enough and it, it can damage those cabinets so yeah well they're made of yeah. soft wood yeah they're not very good cabinets really they don't make anything good anymore no so another thing i got 
I got two of these. These are organizers. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. I was waiting for a phone call, but they're probably not going to call now, so I can probably turn it off. <coughs> so, um, yeah. So I got two of these. They're for the car. These are, one is going to be for my groceries, and the other one's going to be for the stuff that's in the back of the car, like his tackle box and little odds and ends that are in the back of the car that need to be more confined. And I'll just leave these in the car. And these are nice. Oh, yeah, groceries. And I'll be able to put my groceries in there and just lift the whole thing if it's not too heavy. If it's too heavy, then I might have to, you know. I just put in, <coughs> you know, the bags in there and lift the whole thing in. <coughs> I've seen all kinds of those. So I wanted to see how well they would work, and the other one I'm just going to keep in there. We'll just use the one, and then if you're not using it, you just fold it up. No biggie. Yeah. You know? Fold it up and put it away. So I got two of them. Let me see. I lost my team of stuff here. Um, what did I pay for that one? I paid six seventy seven a piece for them. So that's not too bad. I don't think they're bargains. Yeah. But it's better than going to Wally World. And and sometimes, you know, they're they're more at Walmart, I think. Yeah. These yeah. things are Yeah. They have big ones too. Yeah. Well these are pretty big. Yeah. These are universal call car trunk organizers, that's what they call them. Yeah. And let me see. Let's see a picture. Oh, they might, must be out. Yeah. Oh, they discontinued days. Huh, how convenient. So they've been discontinued. Sorry guys, I was gonna show you a picture of it. But I got two of those, so I wanna see how well they work. So I think that is it guys. Oh, I had to fight for my stuff though. That's upsetting. Oh just roll over it and let it go. Oh yeah. I mean people have been complaining about Timu and things like that. It's and, not Timu's fault. No, I don't blame this not. on Timu. This is this is the post office people. Yeah. That's whose fault it is. And I had to wait almost an hour. I, I was in there probably around 4 30, four, quarter to 4, and I had to wait in line. Then this girl's all by herself in there, and then and then she had to get the postmaster, and she's like, well, we don't. I don't deal with that. You'll have to wait for him. So, and then I'm waiting and waiting. He never came up. So she rang it and she held the button down. They have a button. And they just ring it and hold the button down. And he finally showed up. So, and then he was trying to tell me, oh, well, he wasn't out for delivery. No, it was. <coughs> so I had to show him on my phone. Thank goodness there was tracking numbers. That, that was a good idea, these tracking numbers. I really do. Yeah. It just shows who's not doing their job and who is, <laughs> you know. And this girl, you know, we all have bad days. So uh, she has never done this before. So, um, you know, that I've never had this trouble with her. Had them with other people that she's had to cover her while she was out and stuff, but not with her. So hopefully we won't have this issue again. Anyways, I hope you all liked my Timu stuff. What do you think, Mom? Good haul. Good. Yeah? Yeah. You think it'll, this stuff will be handy? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. yeah, I think it will work. Yeah, I think so. So I like my shirt too. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and comfy. Because I got a bunch of them I'm going to throw out. I got to go through the closet and go through a bunch of them. So... Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this. Uh, Monkey says she's out. What are you going to say? I don't know. You're going to say bye? Goodbye. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> goodbye? No, well, you know, she'll be shopping again really soon, so don't go away. <laughs> don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> she is a shopaholic now. Timu has made me that way. Yeah, I know. I don't usually do this, do I? No. No, I'm not usually like this. I wanted these for my my uh, last car I had. Because yeah. I, I, we had so much stuff in the back from Joe and his tools. They would slide around in the back of the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, drove me crazy. Yeah, so that was my father. 
So, which is no longer here. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, I'm going to say I'm out for now. Monkey says bye. Bye.